Okay everybody, I've been working with the file system here with the uh, model sounds stuff from my A1 Sky Raider and actually that Mustang over there and a few other planes that I've got there on the rack uh, transferable. Right now I have the Falk Wolf 190 SD card in this which is uh, the sound that I think I've settled on that I like real well for this plane. I'm still working with the A1 Sky Raider sound uh, which sounds good too. There's actually three sounds that sounded really good for this plane, which was the uh, T-28 Trojan, the uh, Falk Wolf 190, because uh, of its deep throaty sound, and the A1 Sky Raider, which also has a good sound. It's working on the back top end, higher end settings on it a little bit. But anyway, I finally got it done. Got it all buttoned up here. And uh, just wanted to give you a little demonstration of what I've come up with. I added a lot of extra sounds to it, and I'll play those here in a minute. But here we go. Start up. I adjusted the idle just a bit so that it has a longer delay. And it times real well. Now I'll see if I can play some of those sounds without the motor running. Can't remember exactly which one's all I have in here. off. Finally figured out the momentary and latch situation and right now I'm holding them all in the uh, momentary situation so that as soon as I release the uh, spring loaded switch uh, they automatically go off here. But that changes just like David had uh, posted on the groups where I had posted the earlier video. He's actually right on the money. You can actually set it either way. Each time you activate the sound depending on how long you hold the switch when you activate that sound. I currently have all my sounds on the spring-loaded switch right here and I played around with setting them to two different outputs. Right now because of my receiver only having one extra channel I only have them on one but I did play around with some retract sounds on the retract channel which worked real well and used the offset as David instructed and uh, I was really pleased. Uh, with it, I actually was able to get the retracts to come up and activate a sound at the same time, or flaps, 
or in the case of this model the dive brakes uh, which I've actually put on a separate channel and put on the slow so she's got her dive brakes and I can actually put them so that when they come out they actually play the sound uh, it's just a little hard to hear it over the engine sound when it's running at full throttle I only took this plane a minute ago to about 60% uh, on the throttle so we didn't get to hear the top end I'm just afraid that it was going to knock Come, uh, blow over on the stand with as much power as, as it's got with the propeller on it um, which is why I've got it bungee strapped down right now to keep it from coming off there but she sounds real nice and I'll fire up one more time here we can kind of listen to her from the back see if I kind of back off here start up and just as the prop kicks over I hit the prop shut down just about goes down with the prop spin down so I finally got the timing on that on that in the model sound selections page on the the step breakdown what I did was adjust the uh, percentage uh, top end percent and bottom end percentages on each of the about the top six sounds from the startup down and adjusted theirs adjusted them a little bit so that it coordinates better with my particular ESC and throttle here it's something you'd have to play around with with your specific application but it worked real well for me for instance I have the shutdown sound actually set at 0 to 3.5 percent uh, instead of 0 to 5 instead of 0 to 5 percent which he recommends the uh, lower setting just worked better for me on this one in the timing it's actually different when I plug it into a different sound and put it on my Mustang. Um, also, the idle sound, I increased the time there from uh, to match with it, which I believe was 3.5 to 12. I gave it a wider uh, percentage rating on my throttle stick so that on the lower part of my throttle sticks right here, it actually stays better in tune with the idle sound on the model before it starts moving. And that worked real well here. So playing around with those settings all week and this weekend seemed to work real well for this one. But there she is. She's ready to go. And I'll do it one more time. That's about two clicks up on my throttle stick. Two or three. That's the idle sound, the very first step. Takes it up to the second step. Third step. Fourth step, and you can kind of hear the transition change as I walk it up real slow. Next step and so forth. They each correspond to about each click on my transmitter stick. Spins down with it. And I do have my throttle trim set all the way to zero, which is normally what I don't do. I usually have the bottom 25% set to uh, for idle, but on this particular one, I've got it set all the way to zero, uh, which helped me time the synchronization of the sound to the actual rotation of the prop a lot better. But anyway, there's the SPAD, guys, the A1 Sky Raider. And I've got three different sound micro SD cards that sound really good I put in it. The Falk Wolf 190, which is what you just got through listening to with some slight editing and added sounds and so forth, which is real easy to do. The uh, T28 Trojan sounds real well too, along with the original A1 Sky Raider. It's just that I was a little uh, still working on the sounds after idle and startup, about three on to where it transitions. Uh, wanted something a little deeper and throatier on it and uh, has a little higher 
in where it sounds like it's really wrapped out. If I could actually hold this thing without holding the camera and fire it up and take it all the way to Watt, which I've done it several times, the uh, it sounds really good. It's just that it'll, it'll come off the stand. You saw it budge there a minute ago when I got above 55% on the stand. So anyway, I'll post some more later as I do some other airplanes, guys. I've got some other things in the works. Thanks a lot. Bye. Good for watching.